a spectacular night in the Valley of the Sun as we welcome you to Glendale, Arizona, as the BCS Bowl Bash continues on Fox in this sensational first-year venue. Boise State tonight steps onto the national stage, playing the role of David, trying to take down Goliath. Oklahoma, after all, is the winningest college football program in the nation since World War II. And they are the heavy favorite in this Tostitos Fiesta Bowl game. Toss deferring to the second half. Number three, Reggie Smith. Number nine, Joaquin Iglesias. Way back, line drive kick. This will be the sophomore Iglesias. Across the 15, out to the 20. And is tackled out near the 27-yard line. A 25-yard return for the sophomore wide receiver. With Gerald Alexander and Marty Tadman. A reverse. And this is Peterson, and he's out to the 39-yard line. Good enough for a first down after a gain of nine. They just do get it off. Good protection for Thompson. And it was tipped at the line of scrimmage and nearly intercepted by Hall. So how about the opening stand after a first down from Oklahoma by this Boise Sinemite senior year? They're down at five, and here come the Sooners. They pick up the blitz. In, out, back into the hands of the tight end, Derek Schumann. And that is a catch, and it appears to be good enough for a first down. I think you gave him the spot yes. across the 50. Because, because of the down for sure when the ball first hit his hand. See Schumann right there? But on the bobble, now he's going to move backwards. And there's Nick Harris cleaning things up at the end, but it looks like they've got a good spot and a first down for 29 yard line. It's first and 10 from the Oklahoma 49. Play action and Zabransky looking for it all. Wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Dryzen James. The first stone fired by David hits Goliath right in the chest. Big plays early if you're Boise State. Came out with a play action pass. Drives in James with a double move. Beats Oklahoma defense for the initial score of the night. Seven yard line. Thompson play action. Under heavy pressure, the ball is loose. And it looks like Boise State has it. The Broncos have recovered. T. Williams stripped it, and he recovered. Wide receiver in isolation. They're going to hand it to Ian Johnson, and he's inside the five, down to the two-yard line. With the run game. Three tight ends in the game. They hand it to Johnson into the end zone. Wow. I'm not sure those are the words of Bob Stoops. Now that I'll tell you what now. They responded to that. I thought we'd see an Oklahoma defense come out there and, and bow up. I didn't see it. That was pretty easy. But I like Spanning one minute and 38 seconds. Goodness gracious. This is Boise State University Bronco football. They lead 14 nothing to lead the Sooners. Thompson dumps it off to Peterson. He breaks a tackle. And then brings it out close to a first down. We'll see depending on the spot. Play action to Peterson. And Thompson looking for a receiver. He'll carry the football. Good enough for a first down. All the way out to the 43-yard line. A 16-yard gain for Thompson. It's really an amazing. Play clock at one, they just got it off. Thompson caught by Iglesias, first down, Oklahoma to the 22. Let, let's take this opening quarter. Thompson to the end zone, touchdown, Oklahoma. Manuel Johnson, his third receiving touchdown of the year, and the Sooners on the board. Mm -hmm. 
And they give it to Patrick, who's inside the 40. Down the sideline, back to the inside, all the way to the 22 is Alan Patrick. Erasers, erase mistakes because of tackling. Watch Alan Patrick, a huge hole, but then he makes the first guy miss right there. That was number 22, Kyle Wilson. And look who was downfield helping, a block, helping assist with the blocking. Number 28, Adrian Peterson. The hold of Hayes McEachie. And the kick is good. So rather than go on fourth down and two. And now this time they hurry up to the line of scrimmage. And Zabransky with a wide open receiver at the 47 yard line. That's Jerome Ram, who's now caught a pass in 26 consecutive games. Good for 18. First down, Blitz coming. Zabransky steps up, chase from behind, and he can fly. Out across the 40 and down to the 36 yard line. It looks like he has enough for a first down. Zabransky runs about a 4 5 40. He Zabransky steps away from trouble, throws to the far side, and James cuts it back to the inside. Now to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown! Holy wow. mackerel! Rise and James from Phoenix, Arizona's Westview High School, his second touchdown tonight. Because the blitz was not effective. Peterson is in there and Thompson to throw on first down! Intercepted and into the end zone goes Marty Tadman. Second interception tonight. 12 in his career. That's his second touchdown this season. Tadman went and got it. Right there, number 25, Hall. The middle linebacker tips it. Tadman underneath in the coverage. Kind of replaced the blitzing. Colt Brooks, number 31. And Boise State. <laughs> we've, talked, we've talked about Corey Hall being a football player, always being around the ball. And that's a prime example. Also, well, they're going to throw it. Thompson steps up. Perfect throw there to Iglesias, who's become his favorite target now with Kelly out of the game. And he's all the way out to midfield. You know, you've got to stick that ball in there. You've got to answer. Michael Cohen. As Tadman will let it drop. That ball checks up and then hits. Did it hit a Boise State player? If it did, it'll be Oklahoma football. And it is Oklahoma football. The ball came back and hit a Boise State player in the leg. Communication is the key on those types of plays. When you are the punt returner, you have to make the call. You've got to get everyone away from the football. You've got to send out the signal. There it is, hitting him right there. He's right got on to, the back of the leg. He's got to attack that ball, screaming to everyone, whatever their alert is. Right. They've got to call the alert and get him away from the football. Second and seven. Peterson to the end zone. His first score since breaking his collarbone against Iowa State. Back on October the 14th, and the Sooners are right back in it. I like to see him. If I'm Bob Stoops, I like what I see on the edge. You want to see him on the edge. You hope that that started to fire. You, you called it. And that is a true story. That's not something out of Hollywood. Zabransky stepping away from trouble. And he just flips it. It's going to be a and legal of touch. will be an illegal touch. Uh, Zabransky has been around a long time. And... Oklahoma 28 to 17. Peterson to get in motion. Thompson to throw the football wide open and making the catch. Iglesias inside the 30 down to the 28 yard line. A gain of 32. Hey, that's a terrific catch by Iglesias. You know why? His momentum was totally going to the sideline, and the ball was thrown back inside a little bit. He was able to break it off and secure the catch. 
Nice job. Fake to reverse. Held a blitzing corner. See, we've seen all three plays off of that now. They hand off to Patrick, they hand off on the reverse. Second down and a yard into the open field is Alan Patrick, and he has a first down inside the 10, all the way down to the seventh. And because Thompson in trouble, down he goes. Boy, you gotta wonder about the play calling by Oklahoma. It's almost as though, and Coach Charles, you fill in the blank here, it's almost as though they're abandoning the running game against Boise State. They lost confidence in the running game, but they had a little momentum running the ball. I'm, I'm surprised that they went away from it. I said that on the last down when they threw the fade. Yeah, you, you go back to that call, because now that puts them in third and long situation. So they have to throw the ball again, and Boise State got them with the blitz. In your mind, you wonder if Bob Stoops thinks about faking one with his reputation. We'll take the point. Right down the can off the foot of Hartley. The largest Tostitos Fiesta ball. Second down handoff to Johnson, and he breaks it to the outside. And that's good enough for a first down. That is the first first down in the second half for the Boise State offense. You're going to keep seeing, seeing him get the ball until he stopped. Hard to bring him down. And is that ball loose? On the far side. Yes, it is. Oklahoma has recovered. Rufus Alexander stripped it away, and Curtis Lofton covered it up. Big players, great players, play big in games like this. They make the plays that you need to give you an opportunity. There's Alexander, Alexander. 42. See how the ball, ball ripping, ripping. He pulled it out before Johnson was down. Lofton alertly jumps on it. Oklahoma in business and now not in the shadow of their own end zone. Bounce for me. Play action. Peterson. Puck fake. Rolls. And picks up a first down out to the 40. Very nicely done by Thompson. At the five minute mark, and they'll keep it on the ground. Ian Johnson, and he breaks into the open field. And Johnson out to the 47. A 15 yard run for the sophomore. Say enough about this offensive line. I mean, look at the holes. Look at the guy. There's Tad Miller, 66, coming around. Daly, 69. On the right side, Cavender, 64. Andrew Woodruff, they nicknamed him Psycho, number 60. Chopping big holes in the defensive front of Oklahoma and look for a lot of blitzing coming from Brett Venables in the Oklahoma defense. Paul Thompson out of the shotgun. Throw and a catch is made by Cheney out to the 35. The clock will stop until they reset the chains. Gain this, of 12. This is where Oklahoma. Catch Manuel Johnson. Up to midfield and crosses midfield to the 47 yard line. Clock continuing to run. And another first down. Ball at the 39. Thompson across the middle. Iglesias inside the 30. Tip goes out of bounds to the 22. Two minutes remaining. That is a gain of 16. Thompson taking him right down the field. But remember, they need a touchdown and the two-point conversion. Thompson showing a lot of composure, seeing the field. Now, that Boise front has to be tired. This is where you tire out a defensive front. No huddle, hurry to the ball. I thought you said they were off. They won't retreat from that goal line. To the end zone, tipped, caught by Cheney. Wow. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Now they have to go and get two. They have tried one point, two point conversion this season, and it failed. Today it's very difficult to find a hole as you drop that many people in that short a distance. The, the field is restricted, but he squeezed that in there. Excellent vision. It's a tip drill. And this option. Pump fake. Thompson to the end zone. Catch is made, and we're tied at 28 by Joaquin Iglesias. What an unbelievable drive led by the senior Paul Thompson. They try to throw another fade. 
but good awareness by Thompson and patience to find open receiver. This is the numbers of Paul Thompson on this drive, guys. Five for five, 66 yards. Remind you of the 99-yard drive against Nebraska in the Big 12 title game where he was six of eight on that drive and led them downfield for a touchdown. Well, when they were down by 18, both of you guys said, in our amount of time this week with Bob Stoops and the Oklahoma staff, character, the number one word repeated over and over and over again about Paul Thompson. Well, we said it earlier, but this is about expectations. Oklahoma expects to win. They've set the ball, and Zabransky a dangerous throw, and it's intercepted into the end zone, Marcus Walker. Unbelievable. Block running at 50 seconds, Zabransky. Steps up, looking down the field, fires, and it's caught by the tight end. Schumann trying to get out of bounds. He's to the 43. Clock stops, so it's a first down. So hustle up and get on the line of scrimmage. They can spike the ball if they so choose here. It's a gain of 36. They do have two timeouts left. So Bransky has them ready. Showing a lot of poise in this situation, too, aren't they? Zabransky, down he goes into the arms of Larry Verdine, and they're going to have to call the timeout. Time Loss of eight, 30 seconds remain. Zabransky's legs might be critical here to save time on throwing the ball. Down the middle, James, the lateral to the corner of the end zone. Can you believe that? Seen it all now. Yeah. Adrian Peterson in the backfield. Overtime is underway, and Peterson with the football off to the left side, down the sideline. Leaps, did he get in or step out of bounds? Touchdown, Adrian Peterson. That did not take long. That's what, that's what, where, where was more of that stretch play earlier in the ball game with Adrian Peterson? I like him running that stretch play. I like him running yeah, anything. Boy, that, was, that was blocked very well. <laughs> it was. Blocked very well, but I tell you what, he's got a burst. He gets to that corner. There's a seam, and he can get it. Left side, great hole. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. You had 72, Robinson, 79, Messner, and then Cooper, number 50, and then look downfield. Nice block by Iglesias, number 9, and number 84. Short drop, Zabranski to Schumann. And he bangs his way inside the 15. Good enough for a first down. Ran right into Zach Latimer. The Broncos at the Oklahoma 11. They're going to hand it off to Ian Johnson. Still on his feet. Close to a first down inside the five to the four. Needed to get to about the three and a half. Like he's about a foot short. And remember, they have to match with a touchdown. Watch Ian Johnson. We talked about his patience and his toughness all night long. See, I reads it. It's one of the things the Oklahoma coaches told us about him is that he knows how to read blocks and read angles in the defenses, and that run put him over 100 yards for the. Vinny Perret as a converted wide receiver in the backfield. And he's behind center, and the quarterback Zabransky is in motion. They do this a lot. Perret to take the snap. He's going to throw it to the end zone. Touchdown! They're going to go for two, guys. I'm telling you, they are tired. Listen, when you're Cinderella, at a certain point, you don't keep slugging with the big guy. They're going to try and win the football game right now. That's his option going to the right. Boise State for the win. They hand it off to Johnson. Boise State has won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Can you believe it?
it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> they run on a Statue of Liberty play. Earlier in the season, they ran that look, and they threw a quick screen out of that formation. And this was the counter to it. They knew it was on tape. Oklahoma seen it. They threw it out there to Nene. And this time, they fake it and hand it off the old Statue of Liberty. And no one better than Ian Johnson with the year he's had. Now, that football was supposed to go in the trophy case, but someone else has got it now. <laughs> yeah, Charles, let, let's go back to coaching here. They, he knows that Oklahoma has studied every film they have. That's it. They know every two-point conversion. They're going to defend. Bobby Stoops' team's coached well enough. They're going to defend what they saw. They come back with the counter. He knew it was on tape, and they threw the counter at them. But the number one thing, and we talked about it in the break, and I said it to you, Tom, they would go for two there, wouldn't they? Let's go downstairs to Chris Myers.